Monday. I hope you're all keeping really well. Um, it's actually Sunday when I'm filming this and I put out a photo on Instagram uh, yesterday, so on Saturday, showing that I had made some bread. And a good few of you wanted to know how I made it. So I'm going to show you how I make this bread, this bread here, in less than two hours and it only costs 49 cents in ingredients. So it is a bargain bread and it is nice and easy to make. Zero knead bread. So no kneading involved. There is only three ingredients. One is flour, just plain all purpose flour. One is salt and yeast. So yes, 49 cent for this bread. So I'm going to show you how I make it. Bear with, I don't usually do cook along videos, but I just thought I would show you how easy this bread is to make. I will also be popping my full recipe on my blog um, if you want to get that and print it off. Um, kudos for this recipe goes fully to my sister. Um, my sister showed me the recipe and I used her recipe, um, tweaked it slightly for my own ingredients um, and used what I have at home. Uh, but hopefully you will be able to make this. So yes, really easy to make, um, really quick to do and great beginner bread, I would say, an absolutely great beginner bread. So I'm going to show you the ingredients. Uh, first up, we have flowers. I'm going to be using strong white flour, um, but you can also use plain flour or all-purpose flour. It's the same thing. And then next, we're going to be using fast-action dried yeast and some warm water, and we're also going to use some salt. So next you're going to grab yourself a big bowl and that's just going to mean that you've lots of room to work with and you're going to get a cup measurement and um, it's just much easier than measuring out the flour and you are going to get three level cups of flour. So one, two and there's the third one now. Perfect. Then next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your yeast. So I'm going to use two packets of this. I'm going to cut the ends off and put it in. And then you're going to grab some salt. So about a teaspoon of salt. Then you're going to mix all that together before you add any wet ingredient. Next, you're going to get your warm water. Just check it. Make sure it's room temperature or slightly warmer. You don't want to burn that yeast. And you're going to put the first cup in and then use the long section of your spatula. And you're going to just bring it together. So you basically want this mixture to become a dough, but you want it to still be quite sticky. And it will be a little bit stringy looking. And then the second cup, you're going to add a little bit at a time. So I've added about a quarter of the cup there. And I'm going to add a bit more. And you'll see it start to come together. So when I start to see the whole mixture moving as one, it's nearly there. That's when I know that it's ready. Now you see it's moving as one. And it's still sticky. Then I'm going to grab um, my bench scraper and I'm just going to grab any of the flour that's around the outside and get it into the mixture so we don't waste any. Then I'm going to grab some cling film and stick it over the top. You could also use a tea towel, something to keep the heat in. And I'm going to stick it into my oven at 40 degrees just to keep it warm so it proves. But you could also put it somewhere warm like the hot press or near an oven. And you can see here it's doubled in size. So that was for one hour. Next, I'm going to flour the countertop. And I'm going to scrape that mixture out onto the counter. And the bread just needs to be folded now. 
So we're going to use a folding technique where we grab one side and we fold it into the middle and then we grab the opposite side and fold it in. I'm going to be using my bench scraper here for this, but you can also use your hand. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. And it's going to gather the flour in and make it a lot less sticky and much easier to work with. It's also making it into a more rounded shape. Here you can see me using my hands now. So you can still use this technique with your hands. Next thing I'm going to be doing is rounding the bread. So I am bringing it round, but I'm also tucking it in at the same time. So I want it to be all tucked in, nice and round. And it's also making the dough a bit easier to work with too. And creating a bit of te tension in that, in that dough. Then next, I'm going to put it into a bowl with some parchment paper inside. Now, what I did here, you shouldn't do at this step. I actually did this wrong, but I actually um, scored the bread too soon. So ideally, you want to leave this to rest for 15 minutes and then score it. But unfortunately, I actually scored it too soon which at the end you'll see it didn't come out quite right because of that. It just meant that my lines weren't as clean, that's all. You don't need to use the score I have, you could also use a knife. I've also dusted the top of it with a little bit of flour, that just means that the knife won't stick into the bread as much. And then we're going to leave it for 15 minutes. So you can see that rises nicely. While that was waiting for 15 minutes, I actually put the oven on preheat at 235 degrees with the empty pot that I'm going to be cooking the bread in just to heat it up. You can see I'm taking it out now and I'm just going to bring that bread into that pot. Then we're gonna put the lid on and pop it in the oven. And that is going to cook in there for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we take it out and we're literally just taking the lid off and the paper out and putting it back in for another 10 minutes. Keep an eye on it this time and you should see it come out nice and golden brown. You're just gonna let it cool for about an hour and it should be ready to eat. So that's it, that's how you make my bread. Um, I actually made two um, today, so I've made this one and the one you watched. Um, a great recipe if you're in a pinch and you forgot to buy some bread. Really cheap, you can actually um, freeze that bread. You can even slice it up, stick it into um, a bag, into a Ziploc bag, stick it in a freezer and when you want to just take out the bread and it's ready to go. So you could make a few loaves at a time and you're sorted. Um, it's really cheap, really simple ingredients, four ingredients, you know what is in your bread, nice and cheap and it is quick. As you know, as anybody who's tried to make breads before, um, it can sometimes take a long time that proving. So to be able to prove in one hour is amazing. Um, so yeah, give it a go. If you try it out, let me know. Um, it's a crusty bread. So um, definitely a nice one to um, have with soup. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of it. If you enjoyed this recipe, let me know and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will chat to you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.